Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and this is a tutorial video on the um, showing you how to actually replace uh, RAM in your laptop computer. All laptop computers have RAM installed at the bottom of the casing so if you uh, want to change RAM you will of course need an access to the door at the bottom uh, most of the time there's a small door for RAM like on this Toshiba the RAM is under here there's often little vents on the trap door for the uh, RAM because it generates a lot of heat so you'll want to uh, find out where the RAM is located on your computer uh, you can either open each little door and check where it is or some computers like Acer's a lot of Acer's have one big trap door and that's it and everything is under there, the laptop, the hard drive, the memory. And um, just unscrew the little door and open it. There's often little clips, so you'll hear a little clicking. Uh, just be careful not to break anything, but be firm because you'll hear the clicks that prevents it from opening. And there you'll see the RAM, which is right here located. And as you see here, there's two RAMs here. This computer uses uh, dual channel memory, so it means that two RAMs or uh, two uh, computer RAM need to be uh, put together in it. So what you do is you take the RAM module out. So if it's a computer fix, for example, maybe you have errors and you know that it's the RAM in your computer that's defective, you might want to replace it. Maybe you don't have enough RAM. Maybe your computer has one gigabyte of RAM under Windows 7 and it's really slow. You want to change to uh, four gigs of RAM or two gigs of RAM. Well, there's little hinges on each side that you'll pull a little bit. Um, you have to open them. And you'll see that the RAM module actually moves up by itself once it's uh, unclipped. And you'll be careful just to remove it from the connector here. Lots of different RAM available. So be careful if you need RAM, you'll need to find the good type of RAM for your computer. Um, this computer uses PC2 RAM, which is DDR2. New computers will probably use DDR3. And um, older computers, if your computer is like seven or eight years old, it might be just plain old DDR. So you'll have to, before you buy, check your own RAM modules and see what they are saying. So here it says PC2 5300. That's the speed. So you know that you need that type of memory. Keep in mind, you can buy a memory which is faster as long as it's speed. DDR2 or PC2. Um, your computer cannot run if you put slower memory because it's going to crash the memory. But the faster memory modules are compatible with slower speeds. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that DDR2 needs to be with a DDR2 module or a PC2 module. If you buy a DDR3 module, it won't fit. And how doesn't it fit? You see here, there's this little hinge right here. A little hole. On each module, the hole changes. It's not always in the same spot on your um, memory stick. And that makes a difference between which types of memory. For example, I have a DDR2 memory module here. If we put them together, right here, if I put them like together like this, you'll see that the hinge is exactly the same space. So that's another way of learning, is my module compatible with my computer? Look at the little hole or hinge. Is it at the same place? If it does, then you know that the module is compatible as long as the speed of the module is as fast or faster than the one you have into your computer. So you take out the memories. You take your new memories you have. Be careful not to have static electricity memory modules can be zapped quite easily so touch any metal parts of a chair or your um, a desktop computer of some sort so that you're always uh, free of electrical charge when you have the new module you just slide it in 
make sure that it's all the way in so you shouldn't see too much of the electronics um, you see here there's the little gold connectors usually when you enter into the module they shouldn't be visible like this they should be firmly inserted and usually invisible so you see here you don't see them anymore um, then you just push it down until it clips and you see that it holds in place now seeing a little bit of the metal of your your module is usually okay but make sure you're firmly in one of the things you can actually do by replacing memory modules and not doing it correctly is short out your motherboard and your computer is going to be just useless so be careful when you do that to really put it inside the module correctly before and you'll also see that it clicks and holds the module and that the little hinges here go into the clips uh, that's a great way to know that you're really really installed correctly so make sure you push it in correctly and then clip it in it's as easy as that to change memory modules um, if your computer is um, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, there's a chance it could be DDR memory or PC memory. If it's less than seven years old, there's a good chance it's going to be DDR2 memories, which is PC2. And if your computer is really, really uh, brand new in the past year or so, probably DDR3 and um, the type of memory for laptops is what we call SODIMM S-O-D-I-M-M so um, just be careful to choose if you go buy memory at the computer store take the little memory module with you and show it to the tech guy at the store he's gonna give you the right one uh, if you order it online well, like a lot of people do because very often you got good prices uh, just be careful to order the right memory module for your computer and once it's over, put back the little door. And keep in mind that you have to have power off and your battery removed from your computer if you're doing such work. Make sure that your computer is not um, turning on by itself without um, notice. If you buy a faulty memory module or you have problems, the, the computer, um, you, you don't know if uh, the memory module was in the right speed and you put something that's not compatible. Uh, in most computers, you'll hear a series of beep. Or um, on some computers like this Toshiba, usually uh, inserting memory modules that are not correct will result in a computer um, staying in a black screen instead of showing the Toshiba. Um, logo here. So if your computer stays dark after you've put memory modules, uh, go check and make sure that your memory modules are okay, really seated well, and uh, that they're right type. And of course, um, it is possible you got a defective memory module. That's a um, possibility. Another possibility is incompatible. If you've got already a memory module in your computer and you buy a memory module from another company, sometimes there are incompatibilities so you got to be careful with that try to get the same brand as you have in your computer already or better yet if you change the memory modules change both memory modules at the same time with the same um, manufacturer this will make sure that uh, things are compatible and working well so I uh, hope it helps and shows you a little bit how to change the memory modules in your laptop computer and um, if you have any comments, questions, let us know. If you like our channel, subscribe. You'll be informed when new videos are online. And of course, um, maybe you have an error message or a problem with your uh, computer. Uh, let us know. Send us a private message. And we'll try to uh, put a video online, tutorial video, showing you how to fix your problem. And you'll be helping others that probably have the same problem as you have. So it's going to help others at the same time. It's pretty cool. So thanks for watching and um, if you um, have any questions please feel free to ask and hope you come back to Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye bye.